2 Samuel 24, New Living Translation Once again the anger of the Lord burned against Israel, and he caused David to harm them by taking a census. Go and count the people of Israel and Judah, the Lord told him. So the king said to Joab and the commanders of the army, Take a census of all the tribes of Israel, from Dan in the north to Beersheba in the south, so I may know how many people there are. But Joab replied to the king, May the Lord your God let you live to see a hundred times as many people as there are now. But why, my lord the king, do you want to do this? But the king insisted that they take the census, so Joab and the commanders of the army went out to count the people of Israel. First they crossed the Jordan and camped at Arawer, south of the town of, in the valley, in the direction of Gad. Then they went on to Jazer, then to Gilead in the land of Taham Tachi, and to Danjan, and around to Sidon. Then they came to the fortress of Tyre, and all the towns of the Hivites and Canaanites. Finally they went south to Judah, as far as Beersheba. Having gone through the entire land for nine months and twenty days, they returned to Jerusalem. Joab reported the number of people to the king. There were 800,000 capable warriors in Israel who could handle a sword, and 500,000 in Judah. But after he had taken the census, David's conscience began to bother him. And he said to the Lord, I have sinned greatly by taking this census. Please forgive my guilt, Lord, for doing this foolish thing. The next morning the word of the Lord came to the prophet Gad, who was David's seer. This was the message. Go and say to David, This is what the Lord says. I will give you three choices. Choose one of these punishments, and I will inflict it on you. So Gad came to David and asked him, Will you choose three years of famine throughout your land, three months of fleeing from your enemies, or three days of severe plague throughout your land? Think this over, and decide what answer I should give the Lord who sent me. I'm in a desperate situation, David replied to Gad, but let us fall into the hands of the Lord, for his mercy is great. Do not let me fall into human hands. So the Lord sent a plague upon Israel that morning, and it lasted for three days. A total of 70,000 people died throughout the nation, from Dan in the north to Beersheba in the south. But as the angel was preparing to destroy Jerusalem, the Lord relented and said, to the death angel. Stop, that is enough. At that moment, the angel of the Lord was by the threshing floor of Aaron of the Jebusite. When David saw the angel, he said to the Lord, I am the one who has sinned and done wrong, but these people are as innocent as sheep. What have they done? Let your anger fall against me and my family. That day Gad came to David and said to him, Go up and build an altar to the Lord on the threshing floor of Aaron of the Jebusite. So David went up to do what the Lord had commanded him. When Aaron saw the king and his men coming toward him, he came and bowed before the king and his, with his face to the ground. Why have you come, my lord the king? Aaron asked. David replied, I have come to buy your threshing floor and to build an altar to the Lord there so that he will stop the plague. Take it, my lord the king, and use it as you wish. Arona said to David, Here are oxen for the burnt offering, and you can use the threshing boards and ox yokes for wood to build a fire on the altar. I will give it all to you, your majesty, and may the Lord your God accept your sacrifice. But the king replied to Arona, No, I insist on buying it, for I will not present burnt offerings to the Lord my God that have cost me nothing. So David paid him fifty pieces of silver for the threshing floor and the oxen. David built an altar there to the Lord and sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings. And the Lord answered his prayer for the land and the plague on Israel was stopped.